Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I appreciate the opportunity to come before you this morning. I am an ACE writer, and as Steve said, we do have an office in Sunnyvale. And for those who haven't experienced ACE, uh, you ride down and then you jump on a bus in about two minutes a whole bunch of people are going to many, many, many different uh, companies, high-tech companies, uh, to work. But in addition to just traveling to my office, uh, I'll give you one uh, example. Uh, there was a, a conference at uh, the Computer Museum, which is up by Microsoft, and so you can ride the orange bus. Uh, and this conference uh, was about transportation in the Bay Area, in Silicon Valley in particular. And the question was asked, how many commuted by mass transit to this meeting? There was 300 people there. There were three people who raised their hand, including me. So I do know when that 5 o'clock train, uh, train goes in the morning. Uh, uh, although we do have an office uh, and we do have a brand called Greater Silicon Valley and attracting high wages out to the valley, uh, we are the San Joaquin Partnership. And when you talk partnership, you talk to your partners here in Stanislaus as well as Merced. So to help us attract those high wage jobs, we've gone through a process of working with the university of the Pacific and Jeff Michael in compiling a lot of information about our connection back into Sacramento as well as the Bay Areas and Silicon Valley. And it's called the North San Joaquin Valley Regional Assessment Project. And that was completed last November, November of 14. And um, from that, we thought, well, we should use this in some way to promote our overall activity uh, between these two areas. And so on August 27th at the Doubletree in Pleasanton, all three economic development groups will present uh, an alternative for companies to expand in our three county area. So this is very important to understand that although we can compete individually for locations, we cooperate and work together which is exactly what it's going to take to expand uh, the service down to Merced. When I look at the numbers today, there's about a million and a half people in those three counties, and these are state numbers. If you look at Sacramento, we're, we're larger than Sacramento County today. So we have, let's just round it off and say, we're at uh, 1.5 million versus Sacramento at 1.475. So this extension up to Sacramento and our three county region is extremely important when you look over the next uh, 10 years and making sure that ACE actually gets this extension. Because in that short 10 year period, where these three counties are gonna grow to 1.7 million people versus Sacramento growing to 1.6. So the difference is about 380,000 people. That's Stockton today, the 13th largest city in the state. So over the next 10 years, uh, traffic congestion, all means, buses to BART, rail service, we're going to need it if we as a three county region here are going to be able to access Sacramento and the Bay Area. Uh, so my point being here is that we're growing and everyone around us is growing. If you haven't been into the Bay Area and written BART, for example, which I did last week, the economy of the Bay Area and Silicon Valley has outpaced its infrastructure. Uh, I've ridden BART forever. You get on BART today. I put my earphones in to listen to some music, and I can't hear it. It's because of the cars, it's because of the rail beds, it's because of the lack of maintenance that has occurred during this downturn that we've seen. 
if you try to drive in there, say on a Saturday evening for an event, good luck. As you come up to go over the bridge, all you see is cars going in. It's all filled and they're all stopped. So my point here is we've got a chance to get ahead of what's going on right now in our overall growth and provide some alternatives for folks to bring some jobs out here and also stay connected as such. And finally, you just heard about education and connection. You know, with ACE connecting to Merced, all of a sudden this three county region has access, rail access, to a UC campus, to a CSU campus, to a private university, and three community colleges. That's a very, very powerful connection because we all know as employers, our future rests upon the ability of a higher skilled and educated labor force. So as a group of three economic developers, uh, we, we're very proud to represent this area and we're very proud that you've taken on the responsibility to give us infrastructure that will allow us to grow these communities. Thank you very much.